Hey guys, so a bunch of my friends and a lot of you guys are all going to dances in the winter time like Winter Ball and I decided that even though I'm not going to Winter Ball this year because I'm going to be in Orlando for playlists, information about my meetup down below, I will be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys because this is so much fun. It's time to go like all out for your makeup and be like wintry but still use like winter colors but be colorful and stuff like that. So this is the look that I came up for with you guys. Don't forget to subscribe because it really helps me out a lot and let's get started. So my brows are already filled in and my lids are already primed with MAC Painterly Paint Bot. So with that out of the way, I'm now going to apply a transition color into my crease and this is Yogurt by MAC. And if you guys can tell, I'm holding my brush up on an angle so that it kind of blends for itself, but it also will create more of a defined lid in the end. Um, but we definitely need this transition color in here to help blend the entire look together. Yeah. Now I'm going to be taking my favorite color ever from MAC and this is Sketch and then I'm taking that on the same 217 brush again holding it in more of like an upward angle and I'm going to be applying this to the outer V and dragging that out towards my temple a little bit to make it more like swoopy and kind of winged out and almost like it's like I don't know how to describe it like it's kind of like airbrushed out of my eye almost and I'm also going to make a line down connecting it so we have a very sharp V but it's also a soft V because we're not putting down any tape or anything like make that a very straight edge I'm also focusing this a lot on the inner corner because that's going to deepen up the look and give it kind of a cooler look to it now I'm going to be taking this white shadow base and this is from NYX and I'm going to apply this all over my lid as an opaque base so that the shadow that I'm going to apply next will have something very white and you know, opaque underneath of it so that it can show up true to its color. If we were to put a black underneath of the shadow as opposed to this white that I'm applying, it would come up more of like as a darker look. So it's really up to you whether you want it to be light or dark. I just chose white, but if you want to try black, go for it. If you even want to put down a blue, you can do that as well. I'm also dragging it to my inner corner and I winged it out a little bit, but honestly, if I had to redo it, I wouldn't wing it out because I thought I was going to put that shadow there that I put on my lid, but I didn't. So it's an optional step. Now I'm going to be taking this single eyeshadow from NYX and honestly I thought this would be a really good color but it didn't turn out anything like how I wanted it to look. In the pan it looked really marbleized and really cool like it'd be shimmery and glittery but it wasn't at all. It was actually very flat and really really hard to apply. It came out a lot darker than I thought that it would so I wasn't a big fan of this blue but I ended up layering this purple color over top of it and I really like the combination together. So, I mean, if I were to do this look again, I'd probably still do the same steps of the blue and then this purple from MAC. But honestly, don't like go out and spend your money on this blue because it's really not worth it for NYX. To eliminate the distinction of the lid and the crease, I'm going to go in with a 222 and this deep purple called Shadowy Lady. This is also from MAC. And I'm going to run this in the hollow of my crease, focusing it on the outer corner and the inner corner. And this will blend the whole look together. And then I'm also going to go back in with a blending brush and it's blended all together. I really wouldn't recommend skipping this step because this really blends the entire look together. And this is where you see it all start to form. Now we need to even out the upper lid and the lower lash line, so I'm going to take Sketch on a 217 and very messily, if that's even a word, smudge this along my lower lash line. And then I'm also going to take the same purple that we layered over top of the blue and put that on my lower lash line as well. I'm using a 217 as opposed to a 219, so it can be a very, very messy application and not neat. Now we're taking the star of the show. I love these NYX roll-on shimmers. Have you guys ever used them? They are so amazing. Just like look at this. It's awesome. I laid a tissue underneath my eyes just so that I wouldn't have any fallout. And there wasn't too much fallout. Like I thought there'd be so much more. There really wasn't that much fallout at all. So I am loving this color. And then I just blend it out real quick with A222 just to make it seamless again. But it really makes the entire look pop. I love these shimmers. They're like $4. They're so much better than any other glitters that I have. They're just the best. I'm going to get them in every single color. I'm obsessed with these. I also popped a little bit of this silver shimmer, which is also by NYX, on my inner corner and then dragged it along my lower lash line a little bit and it really just added like a sparkly wintry-esque to the look. I then went in and rimmed my waterline with the not NYX, I was going to say NYX, the NARS Larger Than Life Eyeliner in Via Vinito. It's just a black standard liner. You can put a white, a blue, a silver, whatever color you want in that waterline. 
Now I'm going to line my upper lash line and wing it out. And again, you guys really liked it in my last tutorial when I just sped it up and showed the entire process of me applying my winged eyeliner. I will be doing an in-depth video of how I apply it, you know, explaining it step by step, but hopefully just watching me, you know, helps a little bit. Um, as I did the eyeliner though, I kind of realized that I didn't really like it with the wing and the shadow because I thought that they were kind of competing with one another. If I were to redo this look, I'd probably make the shadow and the liner match up together and not just have the liner overlay the shadow, if that makes sense. I'm now going to apply a little bit of mascara because I'm going to apply false eyelashes. And the eyelashes that I'm applying are these Demi Wispies. They're from Ardell. These are my favorite, favorite lashes ever. I have a super, super old video of me applying fake lashes and like how to apply them. So I'll have that link down below if you guys are interested in that. It's really, really old and really embarrassing, so don't laugh. You probably will. I laugh when I watch it, whatever. It's going to be linked down below. And then I'm just finishing off the eyes with a little bit of lower lash mascara. And this is just a Too Faced mascara that came in with like a brush on false lash set. And I've really been liking it for my lower lashes. Moving on to the cheeks, I'm going to contour my cheekbones with the MAC blush in Baby Don't Go. I've been loving this for contouring. It's just a very natural rosy color and it really complements pale um, complexions such as my skin tone. And it just blends beautifully with any blush that I use. Now I'm gonna go in with a blush and this is from Bobbi Brown and it's in the shade Sandy Pink. And if you use like a really heavy hand, this can get really out of hand and really dark really quickly. So I'm going in with a super light hand to make it look really natural. And then my camera shut off and I didn't realize it, but I also applied a little bit of the Mary Luminizer from the Balm onto my cheekbones. And then to finish off the look, I applied my new favorite lip product ever. I'm seriously obsessed with this, you guys. It is the NYX Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. I I cannot get enough of it. I've been wearing it everywhere. So once you guys are done with the lips, then the look is complete. So I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys all enjoyed it. And be sure to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. I might be releasing a new Tumblr soon. Just just saying. So also, if you guys recreate this look, or if you guys go to Wonderball at all, definitely tweet in pictures. I want to see your dresses, your makeup, your hair, your friends. That sounds really weird, but you know what? Whatever. So I really hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you on my next video. Bye.